All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have absolutely started. Laravel 12 is out and it's ready for us to play around with. Now, here's the thing. I have not looked at Laravel 12. I've not practiced with anything to do with Laravel 12. I have indeed been watching the press conferences here and there. I know there are some few changes that may be coming to Laravel, 11, Laravel 12 that have come already, that have been implemented to do with the starter kits, to do with all those different things that are there for the starting points. And I am excited to see what is going on. Now, the problem is I am so certain that Taylor Odwell is so adamant on using Tailwind CSS only. And I'm not having a problem with that. It's just that now there's a skill gap right there. But we're going to discover it. We're going to learn it together and we're going to get down to it. So let's begin, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start the video. All right, so we're here on the documentation of Laravel 12. As you can see, version 12 up here. This is this is quite exciting, to be fair. I'm just going to zoom in uh, the application right now. Like this, yeah, 125%, so that everyone is able to see the text that I'm about to read for you. But now let's go about this in, the, in a manner that we can actually be able to understand it. Of course, in most of the situations are in the release notes. Every time we're talked about the... We're told... We're talked about two i don't know if that's the right english i told about the version scheming and the version scheming essentially means that whenever it is that you're trying to upgrade your application and all the dependencies that are actually around it it's going to make sure that those dependencies are very much compatible with your code and you have actually made the changes in regards to whatever it is that is in your code take on whatever it is that is within the api if you put in a dependency dealing with charts then a function actually changes whatever it is that it's supposed to output it shall tell you what it is that it's supposed to do and it shall upgrade your code or rather it should tell you how to upgrade your code to actually cater for all of this so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's skip all of this we have version scheming we have support policy of course now we're told about the death of laravel 10 and its support so we are not going to be using any more laravel version 10 and now we move on to laravel 12 and now we can actually talk about what is inside laravel version 12 and what it's actually telling us right now is that laravel 12 continues the improvements made in laravel 11 by upgrading updating upstream dependencies and introducing new starter kits for React, Vue, and Livewire, including the option of using WorkOS AuthKits. Now, WorkOS AuthKits, this is the best login box powered by WorkOS and Radix. And this is a very powerful, uh, as you can see, very, very powerful indeed. And you can definitely feel the smoothness of every single piece of the UI that is being used here. The only thing that I will say is that this has been, been built in React and as always, this is also using Next.js. So we're not going to really have a deep dive onto what it is actually. And I think it's also using Tailwind CSS. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty much a very beautiful, very powerful uh, you know, framework to use as well for authentication. Now. It says that the WorkOS variant of our, of our starter kit offers social authentication, passkeys, and SSO support. For those guys who do not know SSO, this is single sign-on, meaning that you can log in throughout various uh, multiple authentication guards with one level of credentials, all right? Or one set of credentials and that's how single sign-on works generally the minimal breaking changes is what they're advertising so they're saying much of our focus during this release cycle has been minimizing breaking changes instead we have dedicated ourselves to shipping continual quality of life improvements throughout the year that do not break existing applications therefore the laravel 12 release is a relatively minor maintenance release in order to upgrade existing dependencies in light of this, most Laravel applications may upgrade to Laravel 12 without changing any application code. I think as life the life cycle of these applications continue for Laravel, I am very, very pleased with this new announcement and I am going to, I'm going, I'm actually going to upgrade one of my applications to Laravel 12 right now. I'm actually going to upgrade Force, the start, the startup that I am building to Laravel 12 on this video. We're going to go to new application starter kits. Right, So it says that Laravel 12 introduces new application starter kits for React, Vue, and Livewire. The React and Vue starter kits utilize Inertia version 2, TypeScript, Shad, CN, UI, and Tailwind, while the Livewire starter kits utilize a Tailwind-based 
Flux UI component library and Laravel Vault. Now Laravel Vault is something that I probably need to research on. I have never used Laravel Vault and I am thinking this is a very, very, very important to get into. So yeah, I think this is a, I think this is a state management uh, piece of code actually where Oh, yeah, yeah, it's actually state management. Vault is elegantly crafted functional API for LiveWire that supports single file of components, allowing a component's PHP logic and blade templates to coexist in the same file. Wow, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Very, very interesting. So it's, it's like Vue. It's like Vue and React, generally, where, like in Vue, if you look at Vue's template, so this is one example of a Vue file all right so you can definitely see that we have the script tag importing view we have the div for the view and then we have the script the logic over here so this is the ui and then this is the logic over here which is quite nice i think i think i think this is this is quite one of the nicest things uh that laravel vault has included over here i think this is just perfect and it also has state management from what i'm seeing and uh, i am i'm feeling very i'm very i'm feeling very excited to actually start exploring this so without further delay, ladies and gentlemen let's just move on towards the rest of the release notes right so the react view and live wire starter kits all utilize laravel's built-in authentication system to offer login registration password research email ver verification and more in addition we introduce a work OS auth kit powered variant in each starter kit offering social authentication, passkeys, and SSO support. Work OS offers free authentication for applications up to 1 million monthly active users. With the introduction of our new application starter kits, Laravel Breeze and Laravel Jetstream will no longer receive additional updates. Keyword, will no longer receive additional updates. Doesn't mean that they're not going to be supported in the application, but at the end of the day, it won't receive any more updates. Where it is, it's reached its peak. So we are going to deal with it the way it is at the moment. To get started with the new starter kits, check out the starter kit documentation, and that's it. But now, the next thing that we're going to do is the upgrade guide. The upgrade guide. Upgrading for from uh, 11 to 12. And they're saying that the estimated time is five minutes. We attempt to document every possible breaking change. Since some of these breaking changes are in obscure parts of the framework, only a portion of these changes may actually affect your application. Want to save time? You can use Laravel Shift, which is another, um, you know, helper that Taylor created. Of course, this is uh, definitely going to be costing money. I'm so certain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's no way that you could offer this service for free. There's no way. I wouldn't offer it for free. So this is how it's supposed to go. So let's move on forward to the point where we're supposed to update everything, right? So updating dependencies, likelihood of impact high, all right? You should update the following dependencies in your applications, composer.json file. So Laravel framework should be upgraded from 11 to 12. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing here. So we go to our dependencies, which is composer.json, and then we're going to come in here, Laravel framework, we're going to come in here and do 12 point and then we're going to do uh it says 12.0 so i'm just going to come in here and do 12.0 and uh then the next thing is all right carbon likelihood of impact so support for carbon 2 has been removed all laravel 12 applications now require carbon 3 okay so they're saying the it's low impact which means like most of the functionalities are the same okay so i'm just going to come in here and i think we don't need to even change anything really so all those will just change. Then we have the updating the Laravel installer. So all these will have to come in here. Yeah, if you originally installed PHP and Laravel via php.new, you may simply rerun the php.new installation commands for your operating system to install the latest version of PHP and the Laravel installer. We move on forward and we start looking at what's going on over here. So concurrency result index mapping. Uh, I've not used any concurrencies inside my application, so I'm doing. To, I'm just going to leave that alone for now. And plus, there's nothing else I need to update over here. We have the requests that will change as well, merge if missing, and all that kind of stuff. Then we have validation, which also I think uh, changes. It now includes SVGs. Ooh, this is big. This is actually very big. Now image validation now includes SVGs. And this actually is a really, really, really big uh, inclusion because 
beforehand i had to put in extensions for mime types with svgs and remove the image remove the image validation so this is uh, quite a big step as well and then of course now there's some other miscellaneous tools in the background but now given that this is the only thing that we needed to upgrade i'm just going to save that and then i'm actually going to come in here and do composer and i'm going to do update and when i do that of course there's some few things that will come in here so there's a deprecation notice there are multiple deprecation notices over here and I'm, I'm wondering why i am having all these deprecation notices um, but regardless of the matter, I think uh, we are good to go, except it's saying that root composer.json requires Laravel framework 12, uh, satisfiable by that, okay. Your number code specifier requires Illuminate support 11, satisfiable by Illuminate support. So what I'm going to do here is going to, I'm going to do composer update and then I'm going to hyphen W. So it updates together with the dependencies. Let's see what happens then. Hyphen and capital W so that it updates with the dependencies. And uh, it's telling us that only one of these can be installed in Illuminate support, uh, Laravel framework. They all replace party once and thus cannot coexist. Well, I'm not even using the Pesapal API, my own Pesapal, I'm not using my own Pesapal API this, in this application. I'm using Paystack. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete it and I'm just going to proceed on to do uh, the needful. Let's see what happens. All right, so we have Paystack requiring Laravel version 11 and uh, Illuminate support 11. And I'm not, I'm not understanding why we are still fighting this whole thing about the dependencies and the requirements and all that stuff. Damn. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reverse the changes I made. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, so I'll figure all this out and then I'll be able to uh, come to terms with the upgrade methods so that we can be able to, you know, find a solution to every single thing that is in this application. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will close off uh, at that point. This, um, I might even just decide to create a new Laravel application and, uh, you know, just just to test it out. So until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you guys in it uh, dealing with Laravel version 12 and we will see how to go about every single thing that is present in our application. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you guys in the next one. Please do take care and as always, may God bless.